the greatest evidence against God is this. There's never actually been a word of God, only words of men claiming to speak for God. And that's a big difference. Whenever a theologian says something that God did or said, they need to be corrected immediately. No, that is not something that a God did or a God said. That is something that people claiming to speak for God said God did. People claiming to speak for God said God said. And when you say you believe these things, what you're actually saying is you believe that certain men claiming to speak for God somehow had more authority to do so than millions of other men making the same claim. So never let theologians get away with saying anything that God said or, or did without challenging them, without correcting them. You're talking about men claiming to speak for God. You are not talking about actual God. Whenever anyone says God created the universe, well, what you mean is men claiming to speak for God said that a God created the universe. Because if there was an all-powerful being that created the universe and wanted us to know that this God created the universe, everybody would know. And that they would have the same God, the same concept, the same definition, and that knowledge would be there. The fact that the foundation of this definition of what God is, this, this understanding of what the word God even means, the fact that that comes from men is the greatest evidence against God. The best analogy to use is look at the Wizard of Oz. Don't talk about the evidence for the flames and the smoke. Pull open the curtain, expose the man with the levers, talking into a mouthpiece. Every single religion, whether it's believing in a single God or polytheism, believing in multiple gods, whether it's people who believed in past religions that we now call myths, which to the people in history were no less real than the religions being practiced today. In all of these cases, there are men behind the curtain. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Cisco, do we have to leave all our good friends now? Only until next time, Pancho. Adios, amigos. <laughs>